Welcome to Kent Channel. <clears throat> We're going to broadcast in English again today. Today I'd like to talk about a certain organization which is operating in the United States and which I think is uh, causing a great deal of harm. The name of the organization is the Global Alliance for Preserving the History of World War II. That's innocuous enough. In fact, it sounds like that they may be doing some very good work. Uh, the headquarters is located in California. The Japanese name, however, is Sekai Konichi Senso Shijitsu Igo Rengo Kai, or uh, shortened down Konichi Rengo Kai, or the Anti-Japanese Coalition. Um, the, the purpose of this organization is to spread negative propaganda about Japan. Um, it is funded, maybe not directly, but at least indirectly, by the, the Chinese Communist Party. And, uh, and uh, they work through, uh, the Ch through Chinese, and also they have uh, an alliance with a lot of the anti-Japanese Korean groups. Um, let me tell you some of the things they have been engaged in. First of all, have you ever heard of the book The Rape of Nanking? Of Nanking, however you want to say it. That book, um, they actually uh, arranged for that book to be published, and they spent a great deal of effort promoting it as a factual account of what happened. Now, I'm not going to uh, dispute what happened in Nanking today. We, we'll discuss that another day. But uh, that book is clearly overkill. And, uh, and I'm not going to talk about Iris Chung either, who wrote it, although there's plenty to be said about her. I just want you to know that this, was, uh, this isn't just something she dreamed up one night, okay? Number two, they have uh, spread the, the uh, false accusations about forced recruitment of comfort, wo comfort women during World War II by, Japanese, by the Japanese army as a government policy. This did not occur, or at least if it did, it did not occur on that scale. And not only that, there is no evidence to support that it did occur on any scale um, that uh, is significant. Um, so they put a great deal of effort into spreading that, um, that kind of nonsense around. Um, uh, as a result of some of their propaganda activities in the United States, the House of Representatives passed um, um, a Resolution 121, which is sponsored by Representative Mike Honda from California. Um, and the uh, rep, uh, Resolution 121 um, scolded Japan for wartime atrocities um, and these uh, comfort women and whatnot. This, um, it's very interesting, the timing of this resolution. Um, the United States government uh, undertook a, a huge uh, survey at the behest of these people um, to, to, to find evidence that the Japanese uh, had committed wartime atrocities. The government spent $30 million. In fact, I talked about this in my, in my last uh, posting here. They spent $30 million. They mobilized the FBI, the CIA, the military, everybody, all of the major departments of government, went through all the records, millions of pages of records, and they found nothing to support these claims of wartime atrocities. This report was published um, and then, just a few months later, this House Resolution 121 was passed. It's very clear that they were hoping that some smoking gun would come up in this report, which they could then use to force this resolution, resolution through. But anyway, it went through um, based on these false accusations, which they had um, passed around and which they had paid to not have proven. <laughs> Does that seem really ironic? Um, this um, Konichi Rengokai has also um, instigated some of these uh, lawsuits for uh, wartime forced labor compensation. Um, and most of, this, most of that has already been covered by peace treaties, and so it's really not something that should be brought up again. Um, I really think this organization is in violation of the Civil Rights Act. Their, their stated purpose is to, um, to damage Japan, to damage the reputation of Japan. Uh, that's their stated, uh, and, and uh, everything they do, that, 
has that goal in mind. And why would they want to damage the reputation of Japan? Well, they, I, I, and why would they do it in the United States? And the reason is because Japan and America are good friends and we have a strong security alliance. And what would the Chinese like to see happen to that? The Chinese would like to see that alliance collapse. If that alliance collapsed and Japan still had a peace constitution, what could China do? Hmm, what could China do? China could do whatever they wanted in Asia if the United States were not here to stop it. Um, and so um, we could expect that the Senkaku Islands um, would probably go over to China. And uh, I'm not going to talk about Okinawa in detail today. I will do that sometime. But uh, I'm, you know, if the Americans pulled out of Okinawa, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Chinese would uh, try and move in there. And uh, anyway, their goal probably is not really to besmirch the name of Japan so much as it is to get America out of Asia so that they can have the entire place to themselves. So there you have it. That is what the Global Alliance for Preserving the History of World War II is and does. And in my opinion, the uh, Attorney General needs to investigate them thoroughly. And certainly historians need to stop supporting their mistaken propaganda. That's it for today.